by far the best, most productive, effective, and efficient study method that I have ever used throughout my 23 years of life. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've made a video and my way of studying has actually changed quite a bit since then. Today, I'm going to be showing you my updated study tips. I'm honestly so excited about this video because this updated study method of mine is honestly a game changer. Be sure to watch until the end because I have a little gift for you. Let's get started guys, I can't wait. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Notion and make an account. If you are a student, make sure that you do register with your student account because it's free for students. This semester, I had a course where I had to learn about different medical conditions. Let's first look at diabetes. A cool thing about this app is that you can actually embed web pages into your notes. Once you embed the link, everything can be accessed through one click. It honestly saves so much time. It doesn't seem like much, but every second does add up. So if I wanna go to the AMH and look at diabetes, here I am. If I wanted to go to the ETG, here I am. So the first thing I do is I write down the background information, understanding conditions and reason for treatment. As you can see over here, I write down questions instead of sentences. I write down what is type 2 diabetes? Now let's click on the toggle and see, oh, it's insulin resistance causing an increase in blood sugar levels. In the past, I would type out type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance causing an increase in blood sugar levels. In the past, when I studied, I would just reread the sentence over and over again, thinking that I know what it is. But when it comes to exams, I find that I often have a hard time retrieving the information. By being able to hide the answers and being able to actively test myself as I study has been game changing. That's the gist of the background. Now let's get to the drug treatment. This is what I really wanted to talk about today. And this is going to be really helpful, especially if you're in the healthcare field sector, such as pharmacy students. This will really help you with your drugs. It saved me <laughs> this semester. Okay, let's look at drug treatment. So what I do is I would write down the first line treatment, second line treatment, and third line treatment. Let's look at the first line treatment. It would be metformin. Okay, now, I then asked myself, okay, what drug class does it belong to? What's the mechanism of action? What are the doses? Let's look at the doses now. So the beauty of being in pharmacy school is that there are heaps, heaps, losing my voice because I'm so traumatized, heaps of different doses that we need to remember in pharmacy school. It depends on the formulation such as immediate release, controlled release, if the patient is renally impaired. I also included the daily dose, the maximum dose, and for renal impairment, depending on your CRCL levels, you will require different doses. I also include the side effects, the pros, such as it helps with weight loss, counseling points, monitoring, etc. That's the gist of it. There's a second line treatment as well. Just going to run through this really quickly to show you. I first include the different drug classes, the mechanism of action, the different drugs, and the respective doses. Again, you can link it. If you need to refer back to the AMH, it's over there. I also include a section called additional questions, and this is what I use to test myself. I ask myself a lot of questions, and I try to answer it as best as I can. This way of taking notes has honestly transformed my life completely. It's super productive, super effective, super efficient because every time you're studying, you're constantly testing yourself. You're not just mindlessly reading your notes. You're actively using your brain to recall information. If you take your notes like I did in the past by writing down full sentences, you won't be able to know if you actually know the information or not because you're just reading the content. You're not actually 
actively recalling it. This is how I study now. I'm also going to show you another set of notes from my other class, which is a business class. So if you're not in the healthcare sector, this might be more relevant for you. I will make another video to show you how I made this table over here and I'll also create a template for it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to jump right into the notes because that's what you're here for, right? Okay, so for this business module, again, my notes are based off of questions instead of sentences. Make different headings to categorize it just to make it less messy. Okay, now I'm just gonna share my templates with you. The link is in the YouTube description, so just check out the link over there. I will run you through how to use it. Examinable topics. I made a short list over here, but you can just add more by clicking on the enter button and add more topics like that. Now you can include the topics such as if it's endocrine, if it's cardiovascular, respiratory, you can also add more topics of your own. You can also track your revision progress if you have started yet, if it's complete, just so you know where you are. And you can also include your confidence level. Five stars means that you are completely confident with the topic and one star means that you know, you have a little bit more work to do. So that just gives you an, an idea on what you need to work on. So you can focus your efforts on the medical conditions that you really need to work on. You can also include revision date, just so you know when you have revised that topic. So that is that. Now let's look at the page. Over here, I have made a little section where you can insert your resource. Now this just links to google.com. To change it, just highlight it. There's a link button over here, click it, and then just include the web page over there. And if you want to include more resources, just press shift and enter, and you can add more that way. The first section is understanding condition and reasons for treatment. I included my actual notes in the first few sections of this template just so you can look back and see how I made my notes and please be mindful that this is just for reference. Please don't use it to study for your exams because my notes are based in the Australian curriculum. To my understanding, medicines can differ in different countries so make sure that you do check your own resources and change it accordingly. You guys have already seen this so I'm just gonna whiz through it really quickly. There's a non-pharmacological management section. I'm not going to click through everything because you can check it out. And the second line of treatment. You can also add notes from your classes. Another cool thing is that you can embed PDF files. The holy grail of Notion is the slash button. So if you ever want to add a link, a heading, a divider, or embed a PDF file, just click on the slash button and then type in PDF and now you can embed a link. There's also an additional question section where you can include questions that you think will help with your studies. That is it for the examinable topics. I also made another study guide template. This is what it looks like. So feel free to check it out and make it your own. This is yours now. And that is it. This is my updated study method that I have been dying to share with you guys. I wish that I had discovered it earlier. I feel like I would have performed better and saved a lot more time had I known about it earlier. If you do get to use my template and if you do get to try these study methods, please tag me on Instagram at Petite Pharmacist so I can get the warm fuzzies that people are actually giving it a shot. Anyways, I hope that you guys found this video helpful in some way. If you have, be sure to give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you are updated whenever I post a new video. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!